Hello and welcome back. I am here today to share a couple more things that I've made using my um, design team dies from Scrap Diva Designs. This is um, Erica's information. All her social media and stuff back there. She's, um, you can find her products at uh, scrapdivadesigns.com. So I will link everything below. Okay. So <clears throat> the, um, die that I'm featuring today is called the Scallop Circle Shaker Tag. Um, this is what it looks like, like that. So you got your two, um, these are the same size. Uh, one is um, kind of a, a scalloped with hearts, and then this is just a regular scallop with kind of like, you know, like a doily type look to it. Okay, these are the inner pieces to make them shakers and, and layer. Um, and they're the same size. Um, so I only took one apart to do the different layers and I left the other part together so that I can, um, I won't have to space them, you know, line them up to be able to cut the um, piece to make um, a shaker out of. So anyway, really nice die. It's got the tag hole up here. So really cute. Seen lots of cute things with it already. So, um, this is what I have made. Let me get this situated right here. So this is my first project with it. So I'm sure I'll be making more, but this is the first one. So I decided to um, do a, um, a tag flip. Okay, so I've got a binder ring up here it's attached to, and I have all my little trims, and I have a little, um, clasp and a little dangle hanging here in the front okay and then so then my first tag is this one is the regular doily shaped okay um, the collection of paper that I'm using is from simple stories it's called wildflower um, that's what all my last few projects have been so far this this month so I'm just kind of working with that collection right now so um, uh, this layered up on some foam and stuff. And, and this is just a piece from the collection that I cut out. Okay, then I have just right here, just kind of decorated it with a flower. Okay, and this flower is from this die set, which is the um, flower pot gift card holder. And it comes with not only the gift card holder, but you got some greenery, this type of leaves and this type of leaves and these, all these different shapes of flowers. I think there's three different styles and there's two of each one or I think two different sizes of each one so I used that on here okay so this one that you're seeing right here is this big one right here okay so there's that okay and then the next one I have made is this is just the plain doily shape again this one I did not pop up because I was adding these little um, embellishments on I just used um, I just made some cute little you know, like um, banner pieces, you know, for, you know, to put across an embellishment or something. Everything is just attached with um, glue dots so that the person could use them, you know, reuse them. This back piece that I used here is from, let me show you. It is this inside piece from this um, journal page pocket. There's a piece that cuts out of this label piece right here. It's kind of like la label plate. This center piece right here that cut out, I use that as the backing for that. <clears throat> for this, and then I use some of the word strips from the collection and some flowers. Okay, and then just attach a cute little um, uh, paper clip right there with a pom pom on top. Okay, the next page, this one is not layered. It's just um, the one layer and then I have some of the cute little um, ladybug um, heart tag set. That is right here. So it's these pieces. You get like three different sizes of the ladybugs and the heart tags. And so you can make ladybugs, you can make just heart tags, you can make just hearts, whatever you want with it. They all come with the, come with the, whole, the heart reinforcers and the little dots. So really cute. So this one has um, the cute little ladybugs that I just um, popped up on foam with, and then used powder paper. And then I just attached a couple little um, diamond dots right there. And then 
I added some this um, kind of pretty pink like uh, thread and then a tiny little paper clip right there and that's really simple okay then the next page I did it's just more of a decorative page I have one other one of the flowers right here this is a flower from the new flower set that I just got where is it I guess I didn't leave it sitting out. Anyway, but it is called the Sakura flower. So that is um, that right there. This one is popped up on foam and then a cute little bow with the gold thread. And this is just more kind of a decorative page. Okay, and then the next page um, I made, um, this is the scallop with the hearts on the edges, you can see. Okay, this one I decided to make a shaker out of. Okay, so I just have my shaker there. And then I used this um, right here. So from the journal uh, page pocket again, die set. It has these cute little um, like shovels in there. And so I decided it would be a cute little spoon um, to use, you know, or to look like it's going to be used to um, scoop out the the sequin mix. I thought that was really cute. It has this layering piece right here, so I layered it up on the end, and then another one of those uh, gold bows. Um, I also just attached a cute little um, uh, bow resin dangle piece that um, I just uh, hauled from the Magical Mix Restore. So there's that. That yeah, turned out cute. Okay, and then on the next page, this one is layered up, and then um, again, I just used some of the flowers this one is these are let's see these are again from this set that comes with the flower pot set so that's two different other two different ones and then i just put the cute little brad in the center that's part of the collection okay and then on my last page i just i didn't layer it up i just cut one layer of on and glitter and i have the heart scalloped right here and then again here's the this is the ladybug heart tag set um i didn't do the ladybugs this time i just layered up um hearts and then used the heart tag in the back some more brads from the collection and then some more of that cute little um gold thread to make some um bows out of so that is my cute little um uh tag flip that i decided to make um, out of the scallop circle shaker tag set. So I think that turned out pretty cute. And then the next one that I use that I'm gonna share with you real quick, and this is the first one I've made, so it's not real in depth or anything. I don't usually go real in depth on the first one I make just in case, you know, cause I'm learning how to put it together. So um, let me show you real quick. So this is um, the it's called doily handbag. Yeah, this is the doily handbag. So it turns out really cute. All the different layers, all the different layering pieces. It just kind of tucks in up here at the top. I just decorated it a little bit. This is a flag, uh, fla flower from, um, this is an edge flower from the edge flower die set that I used on this one. And then some ephemera pieces and some trims and stuff here. Okay, the, um, what you might call it? This uh, handle. This the, it doesn't come with a handle. Okay. So what I did was um, I used. Oh, here's what I used. I took. I know I have a handle in my some of my other uh, die sets, um, like purse die sets. But what I decided to use was it, it was just handy. Is I used this base piece for this um, on this um, card stand thought that would be just the right, about the right size, so I just cut a layer of that out, and that's what I actually used to be my to be my handle, and I just attached it um, with some with some brads up here. Okay, and then I just have my little decorations here, um, and then I just attached it with some glue dots. Okay, um, I took another. I cut this piece out that's up here, like underneath the um, handle. I cut it out again after I attached the brads and covered it up just so it wouldn't have the brad pieces, you know, the brad pieces showing through. So 
look how that turned out. So there's the inside. It can hold a fair amount. If I didn't have if I didn't have my little shovel that I attached to this thing, it this tag flips um, fit down inside there, which which would be a really cute way to gift it. Um, had I not put that, you know, the little um, shovel. <laughs> my spoon shovel in uh, down there so that would have fit really cute it would have been a cute way to box that so anyway just so you know then um, you just fold this back up and tuck it in and it makes a cute little um, little handbag a really cute way to gift some gifts and swaps and stuff so yeah turned out really cute so I used a bunch of dies there I guess I used a lot more than I thought I did um, but I will list all the ones that I um, that I shared um, here so that you can go check it out. I'll have um, Erica's website listed. Um, I will have my affiliate link with the links to all these products. My discount code um, is Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10, and that'll give you 10% off at checkout. So, yeah. I think it turned out cute and this I could see this being for a lot of stuff and I have seen quite a few different um, versions and different things being made out of it already so anyway really pretty I love it so let me know what you think okay thank you so much for watching I'll be back soon bye guys